पाक नेट टी ने इंटरव्यू का एक सिलसिला शुरू किया है जिसमें हम बेल्जियम के लाख के मतलब अपने कर्म फरमाओं को मालूम दिया करेंगे ये इंटरव्यू भी इसी सिलसिला की एक कड़ी है जिसमें कार्लो लोइक्स डिप्टी मेयर ऑफ सेंजिल कम्यून से हम बेल्जियम की रेगुलेशन के मतलब पूछेंगे पाक नाट डाट टी की फ्री मेम्बरशिप का ना ना भूलिए आज हम आ, आ, पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी के लिए पाकनेट टीवी के जानब से मिसयू कार्लोस लोक्स से जो ईशवाई है यानी डिप्टी मेयर है ब्रसल संजील कम्यून के उनसे जो अभी रेगुलराइजेशन खुला है उसके बारे में कुछ सवाल करेंगे और आपकी खिदमत में इंशाल्लाह जो भी मालूम ये है तो वो आपकी खिदमत में हाजिर है आइए हम इनसे पहला सवाल पूछते हैं First of all, we welcome you in uh, our uh, uh, Parknet TV, and uh, we want to ask you some question about the uh, regularization. Uh, the first uh, question is: uh, the Belgium government has decided for regularization. Uh, which uh, which is the criteria for this regularization, and who will be uh, integrated to this regularization? So there is uh, many people in uh, Belgium. Who are living here uh, in a clandestine way? They're not declared. They don't have papers. So uh, the Socialist Party has been pushing a lot since the last elections that the government would take the decisions or take a law for the uh, to to make those people who are living here for a long time to give them papers. Uh, what we call the regularization process. So it concerns people who really live here for a long time, at least five years. Uh, who can prove that they've been living here, and who prove also that they, they that they have real uh, attachments here, uh, that they have, for example, uh, children here going to school to our Belgian schools, uh, that they have uh, the possibility to have a job, uh, can have a work contract. Uh, so it concerns all those who really live here uh, in a proper way, not just people just arriving or. Just people who hear about the possibility of getting regularized. Now you have to prove that you've been here for a long time without interruption. That's the main criteria. Then it stays very, very um, open in a way uh, because you you have to the person without papers, but really living here sometimes for 10 years, 15 years. Uh, of course, he has many contacts. So whatever they can produce uh, of proofs. Uh, people writing letters, uh, giving us this station, saying the, this person, I know him very well, and said, he's been uh, learning our language, and so on. So all those elements, uh, when uh, the person wanting to get uh, recognized, for, uh, to, get for in this pro uh, to get involved in this procedure, he has to write to the uh, mayor of the commune where he's living. The municipality where he's living he has to write a letter with all the elements. Uh, then the commune, the municipality, gives it through to the uh, of, uh, foreigners office, the ministry, home ministry actually. So and then that's the whole procedure. So this is from the 15th of September to the 15th of December. For these three months, uh, it is possible to introduce those who have already some kind of regularization process going on. They introduced it before, or those who have uh, applied for asylum, political uh, refugees. So they can uh, write uh, straight away to the home ministry to, if they have new elements uh, to, to make their, their uh, file more uh, acceptable. Uh, what do you think about the uh, Pakistani community uh, they live in Belgium? I have many friends in the Pakistani community because I always think it's... Uh, those people which I met, uh, they are uh, they have different qualities. They are uh, peaceful. They love peace. They they are not violent. They are not aggressive. They are not uh, arrogant. Though they are gentle, peaceful people. Then they are second qualities. They are hardworking. They uh, help in a way our uh, economy because they they are not the the people who come here. And then uh, just to try to uh, get uh, benefit from all our social uh, insurance and so on. Because in Belgium, we have a very good uh, social security system. But uh, no, they come to work and they, they 
create their own businesses. Uh, there's many shops which created by them. Uh, and so they, they contribute to the, to the they, they are kind of self-supporting. They are not like kind of uh, uh, a burden for our economy. No, they come to help our economy to flourish. So I think those two qualities are very important. Then the third thing is, but that applies to all the different nationalities which come to, uh, to uh, Brussels. In our uh, commune, the Saint-Gilles, where I'm a deputy mayor, we have 140 different nationalities, which is a lot. And I think the uh, fact of having all these different nationalities, it is very good for all of them. It's good for Brussels uh, in a way that it's a kind of a multicultural uh, capital. It is the capital of Europe, of the European institutions. It's the capital of the um, uh, NATO. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also, uh, it has, um, I think it's also a cultural capital, becoming more and more. Because if you look at the history of our planet, one can see that the places which people keep talking about, even thousands of years afterwards, on all continents, is this place that has always been places where people of many different nationalities came together, lived together, worked together. And it's, um, it's a proof that uh, the cultures, the different cultures, can only become uh, richer uh, by the meeting with other culture. If you look to the history of all cultures, you see that the, the most uh, uh, rich times in histories, of any, whether it's Pakistani, Indian, Chinese, uh, Europeans, uh, those periods in history where people met together, not to fight each other, but to, to do business together and to live together, then the, the, these periods are very rich in culture, in science, in everything. So the Pakistani community, for me, is very welcome. Um, some people may have some ideas uh, elsewhere in the world where they say people coming from those areas, uh, maybe they are... Uh, extremists or they may be, uh, some people are scared of, uh, about terrorism and so on. I, I found those which I met, it's the contrary. Uh, so I'm very happy to, to have this experience. Thank you very much, Mr. Carlos, and uh, merci bien. Just a rap nazarin deka, hamne Mr. Carlos se. جو انٹرویو کیا ہے ہم چاہتے کہ جتنے زیادہ سے زیادہ پاکنے ٹی وی کے جانب سے آپ کو ریگولاریزیشن کے بارے میں معلومات دے سکے تو ہم انشاءاللہ آپ کو معلومات دے دیا کریں گے اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ہم کچھ اور لوگوں سے بھی انشاءاللہ اس بارے میں ریگولاریزیشن کے بارے میں ایک پیکج تیار کر رہے جو انشاءاللہ آپ کو بہت مفید آپ کے لیے بہت مفید ہوگا